Kate Hughes reporting from People's Voice Media, Salford. Today we're going to be asking members of the public how they feel about the park and the dog mess in the park. Currently there is no fine. We want to know what the public think of this. Should there be a fine? Shouldn't there be a fine? What ways can we prevent the dog mess? Is the dog mess even a problem? We'll soon find out. What do you think of the um, dog poo situation here? Just to be honest with you, I haven't really noticed it in there. I kind of try and look out for it, but I don't mind it as much. Can you think of any like exciting ways of stopping it? Exciting ways <laughs> of stopping it? Post it back to the owner. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can't really complain about dog mess if you've got nowhere for people to put it. <laughs> um, be nice to see some dog waste bins. Perhaps yeah. We could encourage people to do that with, uh, with bags as well, buy them. I'm not too sure, maybe if they put a few signs like letting all the dog owners know that you know it's not acceptable and they could get a fine if they do that their dogs leave, you know, do their mess. Do you think the fines should be quite high? Yeah. We spoke to Matt Longdon, an inventor from Lower Broughton, East Salford. He has come up with a great proposal for the dog mess in Peel Park. My dog a bugger is when the dog have a poo poo on the grass and, and everybody is standing to go ooh, ooh. So now we invented the dog a bugger, yes? So the dog a poo go into the dog a bugger and no dog a poo on the floor, so when we no step in it. And then doggy be happy doggy. That's okay. Isn't it nice? <laughs> <laughs> so, we've learned a lot today about how the local people of Salford feel about the dog mess. Some people don't know it's it. Some people have got very strong opinions on it. And others don't really care. Matt Longton, the advances dog bog, should soon be in a park near you. Watch the space.